for us, please. Andrew, go ahead. I can analyze a primary source document so that I can compare and contrast improvements to transportation during the... <laughs> I can't read that word. 1800s. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Who else can read it for me? Eli, go for it. I can... The whole thing again? Yep. I can analyze a primary source document so that I can compare slash contrast improvements <laughs> to the transportation during the age 1800s. So what do you think we're doing today? Comparing and contrasting improvements to transportation during the age 1800s. I can't read that word. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so improvements to transportation. Yeah. This is what roads used to look like. These are wheel ruts, wagon wheel ruts, okay? On what trail might this be on? By show of hands, Brandon? Thank you, Oregon Trail. Oregon Trail, okay, now if I give you this little piece of information, the road, this, uh, this was a wagon road heading south towards Paradise, California. Might we use some inference to pick a different trail now? Enter. Is it California Trail? Probably the California Trail, if I had to guess. Right. Simply because it's on its way to California, right? Well, so it could be. Good inference. So improving roads. This is what we're going to talk about today. Uh, stone toll roads or gravel road, roads called turnpikes. So if you ever wondered where we got that word, turnpikes, um, it's from the beginning of starting, starting road construction. Um, or the national road made everyday travel safer and more efficient. Okay, if we blow this picture up a little bit, you can see this is how they constructed the roads back then. They used gravel and rocks and laid it out. In fact, the construction started uh, right around 1811. They're still working it. on it into the 1830s. There's a tree. Do you have a question? No. No? I just seen the tree that you were talking about. So it took a really long time, but it made traveling from the east out west a lot better, a lot more efficient. Okay. So this we're going to talk about these uh, advancements. One of the guys who was uh, paramount in these, this invention, or this these um, innovations, was James Watts. Uh, he invented the steam engine. This is what his steam engine probably looked like. And this led to the development of the steamboat and the steam locomotive. Question. That reminds me of the, uh, um, how do they pump oil? Of the what? How do they pump oil? That reminds me of how they Yeah, it kind of looks like an oil there, doesn't it? Probably, I wonder if the same technology went into the same same process. Yes, sir. Is that where they got the name Steamboat Springs from? Maybe. I bet the steam uh, steam engine probably went through Steamboat Springs at one point. Oh, snap. Do some research and let us know tomorrow. I don't like my idea right now. Yeah. <laughs> now, Robert Sorry, Fulton. Robert Fulton made traveling on rivers more efficient. Okay, he didn't obviously invent the steam engine, uh, but he did make this boat, which one of you will read about. Uh, he put it on the Hudson River. They went from, well, you guys will read about it. Um, but he made traveling on ocean or uh, rivers and canals successful. Now in 1829, the first steam-powered locomotive was invented. Uh, one of you is going to read about steam locomotives. This is probably what uh, that train looked like back then. You can see the large steam pipe there. Okay. Canals. Canals were uh, also used um, in the early 1800s for transportation. Uh, the most famous one being the Erie Canal, built in 1817. Okay? Um, this cut travel time uh, along rivers and uh, riverways by half. Okay? It, was, it was an awesome invention at the time. One of the biggest construction projects um, ever at the time. And what happened before steam engines is they would put these, uh, these boats on the canals and then they would, uh, they would tie up mules to the front of the boat, and they would walk the mules along the path alongside the canal. And then one of these guys would just control the rudder here, uh, so they wouldn't crash into the sides. And then this young boy here, they were called hoagies, and they were the ones that would actually take the mules down the path and leave them where they were going. Okay. That would all change with the steam, uh, the steam engines. So clipper ships is another uh, thing that helped transportation. If you guys remember the, what the ships looked like during the Revolutionary War, most of them had two huge mainsails, right? And now, with these smaller sails, it made the ships a lot quicker through the water and a lot more maneuverable. So uh, this helps transportation between uh, continent to continent as well. So here's what we're going to do. 
We are doing a jigsaw today. No. Don't sound so excited. You're going to learn about the different improve improvements to transportation. So some of you are going to read about the steam engines. Some of you are going to read about the steam engine ships. Some of you are going to read about canals, specifically the Erie Canal. And some of you are going to read about the National Road. Okay? It was also called the Cumberland Road. What we're going to do in groups of four, first you're going to read whatever uh, piece of text you have in front of you. Okay? Now normally if you're reading through a text like this, especially if it's a new text to you, you could annotate it, write the margins, underline things that seem important. Um, no, no, don't write on this, but normally you would if this wasn't going to be used for everybody else. But since we gave you a sheet of paper, you can do all your annotation on this sheet of paper. Okay? Now, what are some things that would probably be, we will probably be looking for through this primary source? Big pieces of information. Big pieces of information? What type of information? Who else wants to help Levi out? What else would you want to look for in here? Dates. Dates. Okay, important dates. Right, what else? Important people. Important people, absolutely. Quotes. Quotes. Quotes would be great because what, that, what, does, that, what does a quote make this document? A... What is it? Primary source, is that what you said? <laughs> what else? You know, what <laughs> places, places would be a good one. So people, places, important uh, information, um, effective information, how the text affected life today or changed life then. Okay. So here's how I'd do it. I'd start reading. Winding through the Allegheny Mountains from Cumberland, Maryland to Wheeling, West Virginia, the National Road provided a gateway for early America to the beckoning lands of Ohio and beyond. Right there, that sounds really important. Okay, why? Because it changed the landscape of America. It says, uh, it says, provided a gateway for early America to the beckoning lands of Ohio and beyond. So that's probably something I jot down on my on my note on my notebook paper. Okay, it was first proposed in 1802 as the territory of Ohio began its journey to statehood. Saw date 1802, but it's not real important because it's not saying, it's just saying that it was proposed. So I might read on to see if I find a more important date. Okay? So the project gained steam the following year with the addition of the Louisiana Purchase to U.S. territory. Something we're already familiar about. Okay? In 1806, uh, President Thomas Jefferson signed legislation that paved the way for the road's construction and the initiation of, of America's first national public works project. Okay, two important things there. One, in 1806, legislation was written. So Thomas Je Jefferson wrote legislation about that. That's important. And also it says the first National Public Works Project. So anything that's the first always seems important to me, so I might jot that down as well. Okay. So have, have some notes that you can provide for your group. Once you're finished reading, we'll flip the desks around, and you'll share out. Okay. Are there any questions? No, I do have I do. One, give me one second, I'll give you one. Sir, yes, Anybody sir. Anybody else have any questions? No, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. You're such a good teacher. <laughs> you have such a good mustache. Thank you. That I appreciate. If All right. You you let's get you some barrel. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any last, uh, any last comments or questions? <laughs> We're clear? So much. Sure, yes, okay. sir. <laughs> Start silently reading, write down some notes, and I'll, I'll come around and check on you here in just, just a second. Can you give me a pencil? Can you give me a pencil? No, I got it. Thanks.